Hi Cancer, welcome to your Quantum Entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. I've missed you guys. Let's dive in. This is for Cancer's Sun, Moon, or Rising, and it's always welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with Cancer, and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. Alrighty, Cancer. You've got the strength card popping out, okay? I can't remember who had this. I think it might have been Sag. Yeah, actually, I think it was Sag. So you could be connected to a Sagittarius or maybe a Leo because that is the Leo card. Doesn't matter though. So you are, um... <laughs> oh, look, and there's your card popping out. There's the chariot. <laughs> there's something where you have decided, actually, this is perfect. There's something in your environment um, the coronavirus that has made you kind of doubt yourself or feel weak or feel like there's this, it's made you feel kind of powerless and insecure. You are going to go through a huge energetic shift through this. Okay. And once you shift into this energy, once you go through this kind of alchemizing of your own energy, you will feel the energy start to move forward. Because uh, there's something where you've restricted yourself just based off of your own thought perceptions. And this is natural just because the energy, the entanglement with this huge freaking thing, like everyone's observation is on it so powerfully that it's giving it even more power. It's insane. And it's making everyone feel powerless and weak to it. I've been through it myself and now that I've been kind of like, oh my gosh, the suppression will push you down so far it becomes unbearable and eventually it's going to give you the courage and the strength to pull out of that where you're just like, you know what, I cannot stay in this energy any longer and then it will, it will inspire you to do really powerful things because you're, that repression does not last long, it's not sustainable. So that's the positive thing about all of this because there's going to be some really swift movement. Okay, I'm not telling you guys to travel, but that is a travel card. But this is at least where you you actually have a direction now. Maybe it's just energetically where this suppression, the weakness is finally like catapulting you into a direction where you want to go. You're finally discovering exactly the direction that you want to move towards. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's an opportunity. Wow, this is crazy because Leo just had this card. So you have the hunter. You are on the hunt for someone or something. That's what the energy is pulling you into, which is kind of funny because you've got the orange there and the Leo. That was probably looking a little bit of a stretch, but that's what I feel like is happening. You're going to be on the move, which the chariot card usually is a horse in a carriage. And so it's interesting that you've got the horse right there, but that is your card, the chariot. So let me grab one more. Oh, cancer, cancer. You've got arrows, which is desire, eroticism, and sensuality. <laughs> okay. There's a couple of different energies that I'm sensing here with this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cracking up. Um, some of you are... Uh, okay, let me explain it in this way. Prepare yourselves. So some of you guys could have fallen to some type of seduction or temptation, whatever that is. It could be a human, it could be food, it could be something that you kind of, um, cause look, we have the mouth there, right? Okay. I'm going to get really literal on this, but with desire, eroticism, and sensuality, what's happened is you pulling into this powerless energy has pulled you back into this psyche in your psychological development, right? I always bring up the oral anal phase, right? I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing it by now, but there's something where you like your desire kind of overcame you. So you've been trying to pull out of this energy. It is taking a little bit of courage for you to kind of overcome your own like initial uh, impulses or kind of natural instincts, but they pull you out of consciousness. Okay. It's, and it 
if you guys, this is why I'm bringing this up, because on the shadow side of the chariot is lack of direction or control, aggression, and obstacles. And that is exactly what happens. When you allow certain kind of like temptations or things to come into your life, and it can be through people, like I said, so you could have had someone that came into your life where all of this fear and powerless made you kind of pull to a person, which brought up some obstacles because you were like, wow, I don't even think this is the actual person that I want to be with, or this isn't the actual pattern or thing that I really want in my life because there could have been a part of you that was expecting the worst or thinking that the worst was going to happen. Like maybe even for some of you, you were like, this is the end, screw all of my progress. I'm just going to do whatever I want. Don't do that because look at this, okay? Holy freaking crap, wow. Cancer, this is what I was talking about. You've got the queen and king of cups. I'm surprised that those popped out. So this is emotions. So that through whatever you guys have been dealing with, the hunter card, you remember what I said? So there could have been a connection, as I was saying, that there's going to be two sides of this energy because, right, you're dealing with the shadow and then you're also going to be pulling into the light part of yourself, which is going to help you to move forward. So for some of you, you're dealing with a connection that's the reflection of the lower vibrational aspect of yourself. And then there will be another connection that comes into you that will be a reflection of the higher vibrational aspect of yourself. You see what I'm saying? That's going to holographically come out through different people that you're dealing with. So there could have been some type of situation because you've got the four of wands. This can be marriage, commitment, whatever this is. But this is some type of union. There's someone that you've been dealing with that, like, right, you pulled into some type of, you know, like temptation. Maybe even for some of you, it was like an ex or an old connection. And you kind of pulled into this illusion thinking that all of this stuff was going to change the person and change who they were. But as you interact with them more and more, you're going to be seeing, right, that lower vibrational aspect that it was a reflection of kind of where you fell out of your power. And it's making you question yourself because you just thought, oh, all of this stuff that's going on around us, that's totally going to solve who this person is. <laughs> and it's not true at all, sadly. So... Um, but here's the cool thing is energetically, there is some type of a union here, but you're kind of in this vibrational difference of yourself of like, maybe even some of you are dealing with two different people. It could be. And so you are either going to be pulling into one vibration of yourself, which is full of self doubt, powerlessness, some type of discord. But then when you pull out of that, because that's not going to feel good for long with the chariot card, there's you're going to find a direction from this interaction, which is positive. So but I feel like for some of you, someone could have pulled you back in with some type of like eroticism or maybe even sexually tempting you. OK, so let's see what comes out. That's why I'm kind of like chuckling over here. It doesn't feel too serious, but I, I don't know that I'm just the reader for crying out loud. What have we got? Yeah, look what I said. So someone here, this is what I was talking about. You've got the Eight of Cups. So you guys will probably be walking away from something that you were like, oh, this is it. Like we're coming together. It's finally happening. This is the one and the thing. And then you're like, oh disappointed it wasn't really exactly what you expected that it would be with and that's when you're gonna feel really balanced this is crazy i've never had this card come out look how cool this is so you've got the justice card this is where the energies are going to balance out between you right with the strength card it's like okay you're gonna see the clarity you're gonna that that's that sort of truth right there you're going to have clarity to see through with the moon that's illusion that's cancer energy up there you're going to see through any type of clouded judgment that you had about a person or a situation. And then you're going to be like, okay, like, no, that wasn't quite what I wanted or expected. And it's going to give you that balanced energy. And then you're going to finally chariot card move forward. The moon child, what's fascinating, look, more of that moon energy. So what's interesting is I feel as though some of you guys actually have a little bit of that moon child energy where you are so connected to the moon you know like 
uh, and the cycles. It really is such a benefit to you. And so really pay attention to that. The Aries new moon is really going to be influencing you, giving you a burst of energy. And that's the chariot card. And I'm saying this too, not only the chariot, you have the wheel of fortune and the eight of wands. That's more of that fire Aries energy where you're going to get this burst of energy. This can also be communication in a different direction, the wheel of fortune. So there could have been someone that you, um, someone cancer in your experience that you, uh, like feel more energetically connected to with the moon child. And I'm saying this because you're going to decide to, I mean, the Eight of Cups anyway, I think that you are going to be deciding to reach out to someone that you feel more is connected to you, more sensitive, more um, aligned with who you truly are. That's where I think you're going to be moving in the direction of. So I, this feels like 180 degrees. You were heading in one direction. You were like, this is it. This is the one. And then you're like putting the brakes on it and going through a little bit of this alchemization within yourself and getting this courage, transforming any type of self-doubt that you had within yourself. And then boom, this clarity is going to be coming in. And I feel like you're going to be taking this different direction, possibly reaching out to a certain person that you know you feel more connected to emotionally, that they're like an energetic match to you. So that's what I was talking about, that you're going through two type of energetic reflections of what you're transforming into, okay? So I'm going to dive into the extended with it, see what happens in the connection, Cancer. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you on the other side. But Cancer, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.